Alright guys, so now let's start with installing the True Depth add-on into Blender. So you can just drag and drop it and then let's go to Edit Preferences. And here let's go to Add-ons and let's type here True Depth and there you go, here we have it. And uh, there's one thing you need to do, you will need to do in order to have the best results really. You will need to install the large model. So now as you can see by default we're in small model. But you will have to install the large model and you can just click on this download it from here button and it you will be redirected into this page where you can just click this download link and you will be uh, downloading the large model so once you will be downloading it uh, you will have it in your downloads so then just click this open checkpoint folder button and here you will just need to uh, drag and drop this uh, downloaded file into this checkpoints folder so now, as you can see, we have the, the small model and the large model installed. So just switch to this. Uh, so just switch to this uh, large model now and you will be good to go. All right. So now I have a bunch of uh, cool looking images here. Some of them are real. Some of them are uh, generated, which I generated uh, using Nano Banana and Mid Journey and Klingi. I really I don't quite remember. Uh, but that doesn't matter. So let's start with this uh, bark texture that looks absolutely amazing. So just click the generate depth map and by doing that we will be generating the depth map. So just give it a couple of seconds. So now we have the, uh, the depth map and now just cr uh, click the create mesh button and in a couple of seconds you will have the generated mesh. So how cool is that? You see? So now we have fully uh, shaped uh, uh, geometry here. Now it's quite uh, skewed so you can uh, fix that by altering this uh, tilt correction parameter and also now it's quite low res uh, so now we can uh, I'm decreasing the strength of the displacement and now I'm increasing the the viewport uh, level so that it's more high resolution and there you go we have quite a, a absolutely amazing looking uh, geometry of the bark texture right so that's how it looks and it uh, really took us only a couple of seconds to generate so how cool is that guys I think this is absolutely amazing you can do so many cool stuff with it so now I'm just uh, playing with the material um, decreasing the, the roughness a little bit and increasing the specularity so that it's a little bit more brighter and has this uh, kind of uh, wet look into it. That's absolutely fantastic. Nice. And then let's try some other, let's say this cobblestone. Uh, I'm in Prague, so this is a very common story here in Prague. You can see it almost everywhere and that's fantastic. So that's the cobblestone of Woo. <laughs> that's quite a, quite a uh, intense. So let's increase the level viewport uh, to make it a little bit, little bit more uh, higher resolution. Let's uh, rotate it so it's uh, horizontal. And I'm uh, tweaking the displacement depth a little bit here. Okay, so that's what we have and I think this is looking absolutely amazing folks. Uh, it's, it's very very realistic. It has all the cool details has all the displacement, all the nice details into it, and you can still you can tweak it um, to to um, to the level you like. You can do whatever you want with the material. You can tweak its uh, roughness, its specularity, its um, tint, like pretty much anything you you need uh, in shader controls. So as you can see, it's it's absolutely realistic, right? Uh, now let me uh, create the camera and in the camera I want to uh, have it uh, so that it has the, the, the depth of field effect. So now I'm selecting the, the, the camera and I'm uh, switching it to, to the... I'm selecting the, the, the view that will kind of sell the image in the best way. And then. I'm tweaking this focus distance so it has this nice depth of field effect like that and 
yeah, I like it this way. It looks very, very nice. So probably the f-stop might be tweaked just a little bit, so it's not that shallow, so that the, the, the depth of field is not that shallow, probably. Well, yeah, something like that. Looks very nice. And yeah, you can tweak this uh, Passport 2 uh, setting here so that it's uh, uh, transparent or not transparent. Okay, so... So that's how you tweak this setting. So obviously this strength is too much. So something like O2 looks fine. Maybe maybe it's even. Let's let's uh, dial it down to something like O1 or even lower. I would say. Oh, I think it's fine. All right. So that's the. Yeah, I think this is much much better in terms of realism. Yeah. So that's uh, that's uh, the cobblestone. Let's try another one now. So this, um, let's try, mm -mm, I think, something like this one. Yeah, this kind of a bas relief uh, will, uh, should look absolutely cool. <laughs> now it's kind of uh, uh, way too intense, obviously. So we need to dial down the levels, uh, the subdivisions level a little bit. And that's how it looks like. So now, um, Let's go to camera and let's tweak the focus distance so that we have the main features in focus like that. All right, so probably we need to dial the displacement depth just a little bit more so that it's not that over exaggerated. Yeah, looks looks nice. And now we need to. Yeah, I think it looks absolutely cool. Yes, yes, camera, let's see what we have. Yeah, I think it's very nice. So now let's see how it looks from all sides, if we're happy with how it works, how it looks like. Yeah, I think it looks absolutely cool. Yeah, look at these details, folks. And now, obviously, it's uh, way too low res, so we need to just crank up the subdivision levels in the viewport here to 6 or to 7 even. So now we have the depth even more, uh, even, uh, even more realistic, even more detailed. And uh, usually I don't use this displacement detail that much. I usually leave it at something like 005 or something like this. Because it's otherwise, if you leave it at too strong, uh, at default 02 or 03, it will, it will make it a little bit too grainy. And that's something that I would always like to avoid. Uh, but it's a, it's a good idea just to leave just a little bit of that uh, displace and detail parameter. So, yeah, and it's always a good idea to uh, turn on and off these uh, uh, gizmos from time to time so that you see the, the clear picture. Right, so now let's try this another picture, another image. It's uh, also the generated one. I generated it using Klingai, if I'm not mistaken. And now we have this skew uh, effect here, and you can easily uh, fix that by tweaking this tilt correction parameter. So you can enter here something like 05. Let's try 05. Yeah, it fixed it. And now we're in the uh, subdivision level of 3, as you can see. So we might uh, crank that parameter up to something like 6 or 7 even. So let's see. So that's how it looks at 3. And that's how it will look like at 7. Look at these details, folks. That's absolutely mind-blowing. So literally, if you as a human can read the depth from any image, be sure that uh, uh, True Depth add-on will read it too. <laughs> that, like, be sure that it will make a, that it, it will do a, a great job of reading that and pushing these uh, details into displacement map. Really, look at this. Ah, oh, man, this is cool. I love these details. Yeah, so.
as you can see, folks, this is really fantastic. I just love this plugin. It's, uh, it's a game changer, really. You can do so many cool stuff with it. And, you know, don't get me wrong. Uh, I do understand that uh, it's, it's visible here that uh, there are parts that are not perfect, but still, you can do so many cool stuff. And it can be a very good base to start uh, sculpting on. If you, if you need to push the quality even more, you can uh, you can uh, then export it to ZBrush and have all the fun there. But anyway, this is a very, very good base to start your sculpting work on. Right, so uh, now let's try some another picture, some another image here. So maybe this uh, bark texture. So generate depth map, you know the drill, and then create mesh. And by default, uh, don't forget that we're in a quite low res uh, subdivision level here. So just let's crank it up to seven. Obviously, let's uh, let's decrease the displacement detail to something like 0.05 so that the overall mesh is not that grainy. Yep. So uh, look at all of these details. That's absolutely amazing. And obviously, we need to decrease the strength a little bit. Yeah, so that's cool. So our job here is to really to keep the balance so that we don't have too many stretched, uh, stretched areas. Uh, and so that the, the, the texture and the geometry looks in, in a good balance, like it looks so that so that it all looks nice. All right. OK, now let's try some other image here. So let's say yeah, and by the way, as you can see, it generates all the, the depth maps and it uh, creates these depth map files right next to your uh, albedo files in your source folder. Yeah, so now let's uh, generate the depth map from this sci-fi panel. It was, by the way, also generated uh, by some AI platform. I don't remember which one exactly. Uh, so let's... Uh, correct uh, this tilting, this skewing using this tilt correction. And let's increase the subdivision level to something like 7. And decrease the, let's decrease the displacement depth to something like 01, so that, because we don't need it to be that, uh, that deep, really. Yeah, that looks, just look at these details, folks. Maybe it will not be your uh, your hero uh, your hero model, uh, for, of course, but it can definitely be uh, something in in the background or in the mid ground. It can serve a lot of uh, purposes here. Really, you can use it as a as an interior detail. It has a lot of uh, implementation. It, you you can use it really freely in a lot of cases here. All right, let's try something else. So maybe let's try this one. Let's see. So, you know, the drill, generate the depth map, then click the create mesh. And we should be good to go. So let's delete this one. So create mesh. Now it's uh, obviously it's way, way too extruded. So let's decrease the displacement depth to something like O2. And decrease the displacement, displacement detail to something like O3. And there you go. Just look at that. <laughs> That's so, so cool, folks. Look at all of these details that it captured. That's absolutely insane. And just bear in mind that we're using just a large model for now. And uh, uh, there, will, there will be a huge model in the future. And I just, I just cannot imagine what it will be looking like with the huge model. Uh, model really that's absolutely fantastic like really in a couple of clicks we're getting a very very detailed sculpt of anything we can just go out outdoors and shoot with our camera with our phone right so that's absolutely amazing all right so let's try something else so maybe let's try this uh, rocky wall, rocky texture that I think, uh, it's a real picture. So let's try probably this one or, let's see, 
this one or maybe maybe that one yeah this one looks cool let's see what what else do i have ah this this one is amazing so maybe maybe rather let's try this one okay so i think i will be using this one so let's just open it here oh, where was that yeah this one generate depth map nice and let's see so now we have the depth map generated in just a couple of seconds really now let's uh, hit the create mesh button and boom uh, even at this uh, subdivision level of three we were able to see that we have uh, a pretty decent looking uh, piece of rock well, look at that that's so cool well obviously now it's too grainy and uh, in order to fix that let's decrease the displacement detail a parameter to, to something like 0.03 like that and boom you have it you have a very detailed look at that beauty we have a very detailed nice looking uh, uh, mountain piece of mountain right that's absolutely cool and don't forget that you're you're able to then tweak it the way you want you can tweak its material you can tweak its uh, all of the parameters roughness specularity albedo uh, it's it's all in your hands. Look at that. Look at that. That's that's just crazy, folks. And that's the beauty of CG, really. That's the that's the beauty of AI. That's the beauty of uh, photogrammetry. You name it. So uh, with this technology, we can do so many cool stuff. Uh, we're pre we're really unlimited. So you, you, we can just go out uh, to when you're hi hiking or you know where you're just uh, taking a walk. And if you see some uh, some um, object that you want to to uh, retrieve the displacement from, you can uh, freely do that. So that's that's really really amazing, and that's the, that's the beauty of this uh, workflow. That's the beauty of this pipeline. So that's how it works. So now let's just use another image, and again generating the depth map. It's obviously skewed. So now let's fix the this uh, tilt. Uh, correction thing so and it's too grainy obviously so let's fix that uh, graininess as well so in the tilt correction I'm setting it to zero which should fix it yep that fixed it and then in the displacement detail I'm entering uh, 0.02 so that it, uh, it's not that grainy. Yes, that looks absolutely cool. All right, so I think this is it, folks. Uh, I hope you like this workflow. I hope you like this add-on as much as I do, because you, you really can do a lot of cool stuff with it. And if you like this video, hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to this channel to never miss a video like this. Stay creative, folks. Bye.